Well hi folks, middle of July now, so years moving on. Just give you a quick look, show you how things are going on. I'm having a few problems up at the plot, but we'll get to that shortly when I get up there. This is at home with these hanging baskets in this lean-to thing we've got. And we are finally getting a few, they're only little cherry ones, but we're getting a few on. Which is nice, because I only sowed these late. I think it was April or even possibly May that I sowed them, so should get some in a bit if we ever do get any more summer weather, which isn't looking too promising at the moment, but yeah, there's plenty plenty on, plenty coming. So I'm just letting these hang down, just do whatever they like. So that's the tomato situation, because obviously because I've not got a greenhouse and my polytunnel's not got a roof on, these are about the only ones I've got. Got a few more bits and pieces in my porch or, lean, or conservatory, whatever you want to call it. This is another tomato, this is Tiny Tim, so instead of it being a hanging basket one, it's just a really, really, I'll show you the size, really, really stocky little sort of bush thing, so never grown that before. It'd probably get about four or five trusses of cherries on, but it's a tiny little plant, so it's looking good so far. Pepper plant, not doing too brilliantly, probably need a bit of a feed, but we're getting a few flowers on, so maybe get a few peppers on in a bit. I'll just show you the spud situation. So the lighter yellow ones in the front, they're the first earliest. They should be getting pulled up now, but I've left them a bit too long, I think. But I'll do a reveal very, very shortly. And then we've got the Sapo Mira and Blue Danube in the over there. Just going to leave those to grow until the tops die back. Or we get a frost, whatever, just to see if we can get them as big as possible. But looking healthy so far, no signs of any blight on any of them, really. And again, just got a few more of these cherry tomatoes dotted about everywhere. And my little lean-to greenhouse thing. A few more lettuce ready to go in, spring onions. And then I grew some sweet peas this year in a pot. They grow really tall, but there's no bloody flowers on them yet. They're just starting to get flowers on up here. But that's like head height. So I don't know, I'm running out of space on my wigwam, so I'll have to extend that a little bit. But that's about all that's going on outside, really. Some of the stuff that I planted earlier, the rocket's still there. To do with eating some of the speedy lettuces which I've just ignored now they've gone to seed and the parsley is finally growing a little bit so we'll nip up, nip up to the plot and I'll show you what's been going on up there well hi folks up at the plot now so I'll just give you a quick look show you what's going on some of the things that are doing really well are the peas the Hearst green shaft filling up nicely just have a look and not far off being ready and there's an awful lot on, so I'm quite chuffed with that. Considering how much wind we've had, and I've had to tie them up. Got them growing on both sides. And if you look, just about ready now. But I think I'll give them another two or three days. Then there's a few more filled up. But that's one thing that's doing quite well, thankfully. One thing that isn't doing very well, and I don't know what it is, are my carrots. Now, I don't know whether that's carrot fly, whether it's carrot leaf blight, I think Terry had a bit of that on the, over on his channel. That box looking terrible. There's a little tiny bit in that box. That box is totally clear of it. And in that bucket, there's three with it. So I think what I'll do now, just for my own curiosity, is I'll pull a carrot and we'll see what they like underneath. So if it's carrot fly, then it should be probably full of lots of little holes. And that looks as absolutely clean as a whistle. And it's a, not a bad carrot either. <laughs> Judging by, you know, considering how early it is. So there's no... No, there's no carrot fly on that whatsoever. <laughs> so it's something else. But as you can see, the leaves are looking awful. Red and blotchy. And I've no idea, but thankfully it's not carrot fly, even though all the diseases are not particularly good for anything. So... It's not carrot fly. Anyway, we've narrowed it down to two. Motley dwarf virus or perhaps carrot leaf blight. So I'll cover that up, try not to attack, attract the carrot fly. So, still a mystery, but anyway, at least it's not carrot fly. So many other things. Banana shallots. I've had a few die for some reason, just the odd one. They're starting to bulb up a bit now. I'll be pulling these in about three or four weeks probably, and they'll be a decent size by then. But one thing that has gone absolutely mad this year are the spring onions. I've never had them as big. Look at the size of them. 
and I've got tons and these are all in bunches as well bunches of six or seven but they're absolutely enormous just sprit, just white Lisbon nothing fancy and they've done exceptionally well so the beetroot doing well too I don't know whether you can see any any of the bulbs in there and the onions a bit, a bit weedy in between but it won't be long before they're ready to pull and thankfully because of this heat treated only had one go to seed if you can see it there only one out of a hundred so that'll do for me so no seed none have gone to seed and if you can see it's starting to bulb up a bit now so they shouldn't be too bad garlic still growing because as you know I grow mine a lot uh, a lot later than most people but it's really thick got some really thick stems on so whether it's massive underneath or not I don't know I suppose I could have a little look see the bulbing up that's very deep that one just have a quick look it's starting to bulb now as you can see another month or so on those but no rust and since I gave them some of that um, seaweed feed the other couple of months ago when they were looking a bit yellow they've really perked up so it's doing okay I think some other things that have done really well this year the lettuce so far that's the first lot huge now and this is the third lot of good that have gone in where the first lot have been taken out and I've got a fourth lot but just I've just sowed a fourth lot and the second lot is over in the other bits so, but so far I've had a non-stop supply of of lettuce and the courgettes grown outside. I can't believe how well they grow. Look, it's enormous. So I should take those. These were the ones that were supposed to be blooming button-up squashes though. So that's a bit of an annoying thing. But they're looking healthy enough and producing, so that'll do for me. Now one thing that has been worrying me a touch, even though the plants do look healthy-ish, are the dwarf French beans. The leaves are looking a little bit, a little bit light in colour. Maybe it's just all the rain we've had, washed a few of the nutrients out. But apart from that, they're putting loads of flowers on. And they're looking healthy. So what I think I'll do, I've brought some uh, trace element mix up. And I've brought a lot of seaweed concentrate, which is full of trace elements and stuff like that. So I'll give them a good dose of that. Not a lot of feed and just see that perks them up a bit. So, likewise with the climbing beans, the cobra. Looking a bit sort of not yellow but very light green. Even so, they are producing flowers and should be getting some beans on soon. Like I said, I've never grown these outside before, but they seem to be doing well. And another cars yet, I'm going to be sick of those soon. So, into my other beds now. This is where the second lettuce have gone in. I do with a bit of weeding, but I've not had time at the moment because I've gone back to work. And it's weather's been absolutely foul for the last three weeks, so. But they're, good, they're doing all right. This is the purple sprouting broccoli. It's growing really well. It won't produce this year. I'll just overwinter it. And then hopefully we should get a supply in sort of February, March time next year. Again, a bit of, need, a bit of weeding's needed. And then the disastrous parsnips situation. I did sow a few more and we've got a few more coming up. But uh, it's a bit sparse, I must admit. So as you can see, I do need to do some weeding. I only weeded this last week and it was really full, but they just keep coming back with all the rain. They're really, they are really germinating quickly. But these are the leeks, taking well now. Looking all right. So I just need to do a bit of weeding. Just need a bit of time at night, a bit of decent weather. And we should be back on top of things. It doesn't take long, sort of. Head down, arse up, 10 minutes of weeding and it all seems to work out. So that's about it folks for this week or fortnight, like I said nothing going on much, nothing to report, not doing anything fancy this year, just general veg growing. So that's about it folks, see you later.